Hello everyone and today I wanted to make another video about the ongoing war we have and this is going to be my second attack um, we are attacking this team Xenon or Xeon I uh, can't pronounce uh, we're losing badly uh, but I'm going to make my base hasn't been touched yet I'm sure they're gonna attack it soon, but um, it's standing, nobody wants to attack it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to choose an opponent. Uh, let's see who I can attack. Um, it's either number 17 or number 20, so let's check out number 17. He's pretty strong. He has level 7 walls, I believe. Uh, just like mine. He has everything upgraded to the max, looks like. Um, and probably he's upgrading his town center soon to enlightenment age. Uh, I'm pretty sure that this is soon going to happen because he looks like updated all the way. Uh, but let's check out number 20. It might be easier target uh, than that. And so we're going to check it out. Scout this base. And looks like the walls are less updated. And his base is almost always up, all the way updated, but not uh, everything I can see been upgraded. So I'm probably going to hit this person. Uh, it's easier for my dynamites to hit. Uh, this base rather than the, the other one. Um, he's still a tough opponent, but uh, just slightly easier than number 17. So I'm going to hit this person and um, let's see what happens. Let's check out my generals. I got um what is that? I'll take this general is the only one available for me. <laughs> and this is the configuration I'm gonna use. Four cannons and fifty-six musketeers, two supply wagons and one wall sapper. I have mercenary army two and uh, take them like that and I have donated army to uh, three uh, heavy gatlings which is pretty cool uh, I like these guys can't wait to get them myself and four dynamites so all right 20 it is let's see to make sure nobody hit them yet yep number 20 hasn't been attacked and I'm going to hit him I'm going to attack him. Again, this is my troop preparation and configuration. So I'm going to attack. And here we are. So I have that. Then I'm going to send this.
Well, they have artillery, and I'm hoping they will hit them soon, yes. And we didn't lose many troops to the artillery, which is, I'm still hoping is going to be okay. Okay, 100%. Four stars. And again, I didn't go straight on their town center right away and um, sent all my troops down there first. It's because uh, usually in wartime, the higher teams have artilleries that they donate down uh, for defenses. And they're pretty lethal. And if I send, navigate all my troops in one spot close to town center with a couple of shots, the artillery takes out the entire uh, troop configuration of mine. And it happened a few times where a couple of shots and within a few seconds I had no more troops left whatsoever. Uh, almost happened in the last, uh, in my last video on my first attack. Um, even though I didn't send them all there, the artillery was picking out my troops one by one and for whatever reason was unsuccessful attack. I didn't, um, almost lost all the troops, but after my troops got them, so I was able to continue on with some of my troops left. Um, in this attack, we took them out in time that not all my troops died and I was able to finish the game so uh, that's the tactic I use I go around and I don't go for five star unless the town center is open and I can able to attack it right away um, but yeah so I stay away from that and have the troops spread out and make it harder for that artillery to pick out all my troops so that's the strategy and um, it worked again in this in this video so check it out um, thank you for watching and happy hunting